it's scary. I, I don't feel safe here anymore. In an NBC10 Boston exclusive, we're going to take you inside a Framingham apartment building that caught fire just this morning. Now, here's the thing. Investigators say someone may have started this fire on purpose. NBC10's Michael Rosenfield is live in Framingham tonight. He's got the intense video and emotional interviews from residents that you'll only see on NBC10 Boston. Yeah, Glenn, investigators say this could be a possible case of arson. Hundreds of people live inside this apartment building and their lives could have been in real jeopardy this morning. This is where the fire was. Doors and walls covered in black soot. This is what it looks like inside a Framingham apartment building. Sandy was sleeping and says it was her dog Mocha who started barking, alerting her that something wasn't right around 4 Monday morning. I opened my door. I'm like, I'm getting... And it looked like hell. You couldn't, you couldn't see anything. The fire started on the first floor in a lobby area of one of the buildings at the Green at 9 and 90 apartment complex. Like I was in a dream and Satan was going to pop out. You couldn't, there was no visual, no, you couldn't, I couldn't see the door across. There was no lights, no alarms, no anything. Tenants on the first floor say the smoke was so thick in the hallway they couldn't escape and waited on their balconies in frigid temperatures until they got the all clear. I was either going to get a face cloth and run down the hallway to get out with my family or throw a mattress off the balcony and jump the 12 feet down because there was no other spot that we could really go. We were, like, trapped. Investigators aren't releasing details of what they found at the scene, but they tell us it's possible from the evidence they gathered that someone may have set the fire on purpose. There are 200 apartments in this one building, so a lot of lives could have been at risk. It could have been a mass casualty, uh, especially how bad the smoke was. When I opened up the door, I got slammed with black smoke. I went choking, coughing, gagging. Alicia Lyons and three other tenants were taken to the hospital to be checked out for smoke inhalation. They were all treated and released. It's scary. I, I don't feel safe here anymore. I just, I don't understand why people want to harm other people. A $5,000 reward is being offered for any information that leads to the person who started the fire. Details on that on our website. We're live in Framingham tonight. Michael Rosenfield, NBC10 Boston.